so switching back to the ERP uh, portion, um, when you are evaluating BI options uh, from an ERP perspective, you really have two major options, build or buy. Okay? And build is broken down into two sub options. So in build, you could decide that, hey, I'm going to, as part of my ERP project, build a new data warehouse. Okay? Uh, it's typically pretty expensive. Uh, it's adding risk to your ERP project, uh, particularly, again, if expectations have been set that uh, the, uh, one of the benefits of the new ERP system is going to be better reporting, which is often the case, um, then a new data warehouse is pretty risky, pretty expensive, because it's a lot of effort. Uh, but where it may make sense is if you're uh, going to be integrating data from a lot of different non-ERP sources. That's where a new data warehouse may make sense. What we more frequently is extending an existing data warehouse. So you already have an existing data warehouse for your non-ERP data, and now as part of your ERP project, you may say, look, I'm going to put my ERP data in that existing data warehouse. So again, it really comes down to where the center of gravity from a data perspective is for your data warehouse. Um, the buy option um, is what we see most customers going to when they are uh, when they are looking at an ERP project with BI, and they typically will uh, will evaluate Oracle's pre-built BI applications because typically, if a customer asks me for you know how long would it take you to build financial analytics as a services company, uh, I love the question, but the reality is, is it's uh, it's going to take five to six times the effort and cost as compared to buying and extending. Right? So if somebody wants to pay us to build financial analytics from scratch for me business suite, I'll tell them that as an Oracle partner, you do have other options and they're probably going to be more cost effective for you, um, less money in our pocket, but at the end of the day, it's a better solution for you. Uh, and let me give you an example, a telecom company um, out on the East Coast, they decided uh, to build GL Analytics from eBusiness Suite. They had a team of 12 people working for six months building just GL, not even AP and AR. And if they had purchased Oracle Financial Analytics, they would have gotten GL, AP, and AR, and they would have then had to just do the customization. Uh, to those applications. And that's typically what we see for ERP customers, is that they will go down the Oracle BI applications route um, because it's typically uh, lower implementation costs, faster time to value. So uh, it's almost, uh, it's, it's very challenging to do a new uh, a build option during uh, an ERP project. It can be done, I'm not gonna say it can't be done, but a brand new data warehouse as part of an ERP project is pretty risky and pretty expensive. So certainly from a cost perspective, speed, and lowering risk, we typically see customers go to the pre-built applications as part of any significant ERP scenario. 